I would say they're great for bike rafting in that often you're carrying more stuff <laughs> when you're bike rafting, like a boat, PFD, paddle, maybe a throw bag, things like that. So you're just going to end up having that stuff in other places, but those other places, the gear that would normally live in those other places will have to find a place to live. And this is a great place to keep all that other stuff because a boat and a PFD won't fit in here, but your sweet roll might have your boat instead. And then all the stuff that you keep sweet roll probably be rolled up in here. This is the newest, the latest version of the Nano Panniers from Revelate Designs. And they're different from the old Nanos. Um, the Nanos had a zipper and uh, these are just a simple roll top and they hold a little bit more weight. They're very similar in that uh, they are uh, a saddlebag style. So they just hang on the rack like this and attach at the bottom. But again, no zippers, uh, much simpler, roll top only. I haven't used any other panniers other than the Nanos in a really long time, but the Nanos had a zipper. They were nice, but the zippers tended to get a little stuck on your gear. And you know, zippers just don't last as long as a simple roll top design. Um, other panniers that I've used in the past are just big, bulky, and heavy, and probably weigh like five times as much as these do. All right, I'll just show you how they work. Very simple. One clip, one clip, unroll, and then you just take out your stuff. I've just got a bag in there just to demonstrate what I normally carry in my pannier. It depends on the trip. Sometimes food, sometimes a stove, sometimes water, sometimes boating gear, sometimes a throw rope, sometimes patch kit, pump, tools. Uh, it just depends on sometimes cams, sometimes a climbing rope. It just depends on the trip I'm doing. It's a bag that can hold anything. Super simple setup. Saddlebag style, they just drape over your rack. And then you have these um, adjustable tabs here. So depending on the width of your rack, you can adjust all these. adjustment and they just sit on top and basically the weight of the bag just holds them in but there are these little straps on each side and tighten that up and then just go to the other side and do the same thing these are so, so simple to put on and off that I like when I stop for camp I usually just take them off and like bring them to where I'm camping, like the campfire or whatever. Um, instead of having to like go back and get things out of them, I just pop the bags off and bring it to where I am. So taking them off is as simple as just undoing these two little straps. And then you're ready to party. As far as waterproof goes, um, these are roll top bags. So no roll top bag is actually a dry bag. Um, dry bags are airtight. These are not airtight, so they're not 100% watertight, um, but they will repel water. Uh, I wouldn't put these underwater and submerse them ever. If you were going to be doing that, like say you were pack rafting and you had them on your bike and you wanted things to be completely dry, I would put a separate dry bag inside with all my gear inside. But it is a roll top design. They're made out of waterproof material. Anytime you get little holes, like I've got a couple of little holes right here just from like running into some rocks or something. So if you were submersing that, um, you know, you'd have a leak there, but these are pretty easy to fix. I would just put some Tyvek tape inside there. and That would be a pretty easy fix for me on this. If you're bike rafting, you know, if I don't have a zipper boat or a cargo fly boat, usually I do not. I'll put these actually saddlebag style right on the stern of the boat hooked to the two tabs that come on pack rafts, um, literally just right behind myself. And then while I'm boating, I can actually like get into these if I need to. It's pretty convenient. It helps counterweight your boat. Normally you have your bike on the front and a lot of gear there. So it's nice to have like a counterbalance in the back of some weight, some heavier gear in the back. They've been on several trips. I can't say how many miles, but uh, uh, off-road trips, um, some gravel touring, some bike rafting trips as well. Yeah, about a year and a half's worth of work, worth of use. And really they just have this one abraded area right here from running into something. And that also could honestly be from setting my bike down on sharp rocks. I'm 
almost positive that's what that's from. These are pretty unique bags in that they're super light. They're durable for what they are. They're water resistant. They keep it super simple. If you're used, if you're used to using a seat bag, but you just, and you like it because it's light, these are, they're also light, like an equivalent weight, but you can carry a lot more stuff. So sometimes you just need to be able to carry more things. Bike rafting trips, longer expedition style trips. You just need more room. You need more capacity. So I think these kind of fit the bill for most things. I'm Steve, Doom Fast Binder with Four Corners Guides, and I approve this message.